Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Team Prawn Racing. So today we're going to be turning this horrible looking arch gap into something a little more suitable. <laughs> The next up is going to be the wings. Now, what I want is a slot gap down here to let light out. Let light. I'm looking at the bad light over here to let air out. If I come over here, will that focus a bit better? No, it's just generally awful. So yeah, down here I want a gap. But what you have here now, as you can see, that it's more of a narrow to wide because it's just pulled out from the top. So what I'm going to do, these wings in here have a 45 degree stiffener. So I'm gonna get the wings off, tap that stiffener flat, which should then allow me to pull this up to this point and then hopefully bend it down so I have a parallel gap down there. So we'll see how that goes. And off it all comes again. Which is off. Right, hope you guys can see this. So this, it's a kind of stiffener lip I was talking about, so that's going to be tapped back flat. I'm also going to reduce this middle mount down to just a top one and do away with any remnants of that one altogether. Let's get cracking. Right, that's off. That's got very little strength left. Uh huh. Let's get the flat wheel out, give that a clean. Give that a clean and we'll start folding this clip in. damage outside? So far, no. Please, that. It's going better than expected, if I'm honest with you. A bit of rust in here, but all this is going to be chopped back to about here, so I don't care. Externally, still really nice line to it. Bend for me. Bend, bend for me. Bend for me. Bend, bend for me. Happy. And back on again. Right. So wings on. Let's see what's happening at the back now I've done that work. Right. This is really hard to show what I'm trying to do, but bear with me. Block of wood in. I'm going to cut that what looks like the sort of profile of the inner wing. Hopefully use that as a kind of hold to then form the bottom of the wing in to make a parallel slot gap. Straw gap mortar! <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Right, I made a bit of wood. This piece fits in here and pops that out there. And if I pick the camera up, the gap where the wood is, is now 50 mil. The gap at the bottom, 60. When that is pushed into place there, you get a parallel gap the whole way down, which is what I wanted, because it looks far more purposeful if it's parallel to the door rather than going small out to big. I am really happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now, measure how big the bracket needs to be in here. Make a bracket, that'll pin the wing there. Then we're ready to fix the bottom when we've got skirts. First time lifting on the new jacking point. Well, that's easy. Got that big godsend. Right. Centre of that hole to centre of my 
centre of my hole there to centre of that is 40 mil. So what I'm going to do, rather than just make a single tiny tab, because I think that could be prone to bending up and down, I don't know, would it? Am I going too far by making a tab that picks up both those points with an elbow on it? That couldn't bend, but then if that goes in there and it's dead tight, it's not going to bend, is it? I'm just adding weight by making it bigger. Ah, sod it, we'll just make it small. Right, 40 mil, hole to hole. Let's go. Sorted. Right, hopefully now without my head in there you can get a better idea of what I'm trying to achieve. So they're going to sit like that, but I actually want to take the top off that bracket. Make that flat. That'll look a bit smarter. So we'll do that, match it on the other side. Back in a sec. Block of wood out. Must there to stay, I think. So bring that into where it wants to be. That's what I was trying to achieve. I'm oh, pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Three, four, five. Right then, over to this side. Block of wood from the last side. That's cut to fit. That slides up to about there. 50 mil. And in theory, this bracket we made should slide it up like that so you guys can see. There to there. It's actually a really good fit. Perfect fit. Block of wood is in, so it's now a case of trying to persuade the wing that it wants to uh, bend in. Hold that. Now that wants to sit. Got a gap just under 50 there. 50. That's at the bottom, we've got 50 in there. 50. 25 ish. Be happy with that. Right. That's not doing too bad. So, I'm going to try offering up the bracket and see how it all sits. So the bracket's in, the wing is out, it's a nice match for the other side, I'm really happy with that. So we'll drop it down, roll it outside and see how it works. I am liking these already. So it's pretty windy out here so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but the wings are on. Apart from tying into the skirt, they're fully fixed. So this is what I was looking to achieve. So you've got comes out to about 50 mil here and then runs fairly parallel all the way down. Obviously when it's finished that will be slightly more square like that, but that was the idea. So from the front I think that looks pretty cool. Now bear in mind the side skirt down here is going to be much wider so it'll bring the whole car out and lower. Around to here and I think it looks pretty identical on this side. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it's all coming together. It's um, starting to look like a car again. Get the wings and the skirts done, get the arches put on the front once all of that's finalised and uh, yeah, I think we'll be ready to go. You guys might have noticed the uh, Straw and Mortar t-shirt from Decibel Tents. Uh, a little bit of banter between Nick and I. Rumour has it Tom at Speeding Tube wants to get involved, but he's too busy finishing his bus. Never ending project eh Tom? So yeah, hope you guys have liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.